Almost a year later, CBS 42 News reporter Jack Royer is speaking with those who were on the inside when the robbery happened. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 42. 11 employees held hostage for hours inside this credit union back in January. As tonight, the man who did it heads to prison. Employees are remembering that harrowing day. It would have otherwise been a quiet Tuesday, but January 10th was life changing for employees at Alabama Credit Union, held hostage by a gunman for hours on end. This is our main branch for now. Steve Swafford has spent two decades as the president of Alabama Credit Union. For him, oh, this is an extension of my family. A day he'll never forget. It was surreal. You know, you just, we've had robberies that have occurred here before. Those are bad enough. This was just beyond belief. And well, that, that closes that chapter. David Williams, a 35 year veteran of the company, remained hopeful in those moments of terror. I'm a person of faith. And so we were all together and I said, okay, we need to have prayer at this time. And then at the end of the day, I reminded them, I said, you know, before we asked for protection, and we were granted that. And so we need to say a prayer of thanksgiving. And we gave a prayer of thanksgiving for us and prayed for him as well because we knew he, he, needed, he needed that. Cedric Collins is now headed for a 20 year prison sentence handed down today as every employee affected is back at work. But I believe the fact that all 11 are still here, still serving our members, uh, still committed to what we do as an organization is maybe testimony to, to who we are. While months later, employees here say they never thought this would happen to them, they say it's the training their company provided that helped them live to tell about it. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.